Hello and welcome back to Lab Art. Today I'm going to show you how to make this aesthetic shiny towel. So this is the space we've got to work with. It's my bedside table. I've got some orangey colours. I've got the white walls in the background, my picture frame and my bedside lamp. So I think the colours that are going to most work with this space are going to be orangey yellows to kind of tie in those colours because I have a white ceramic tile to work with. So I initially started out drawing that sun sketch there but it turned out looking like a germ. So that's a bit of a reject. So I went back, I went on to Pinterest, I went on to Instagram and I looked for some more inspiration and I decided that maybe a swirl almost Van Gogh impressionist style might work a bit better. So I've just sketched out the initial tile and I'm happy with that swirl design so I'm going to start going in with some acrylics. So the colours I chose were a chick yellow, an antique gold, a primary yellow and almost a tannish brown very rich orangey colour. So I'm just experimenting initially with the type of shape that I want. Um, to begin with I started off with this design but I wasn't too happy with it because I think it ended up looking more like a flower than a sun inspired design. So I'm just going back in with more of a swirl coming out from the centre. And I'm not too concerned about layering over my old design. This is my sketchbook. There's no judgement in sketchbooks. I'm not the type of person that fusses over the sketchbook. I'd rather spend my time on working on the finished piece. So I'm much happier, I'm much more happy with this design, uh, with the swirl emanating from the centre. So I've just drawn the corners out of what would be my ceramic tile and I'm going in with more colours. So I've just laid in that chick pale yellow, the antique gold, the tan colour and the primary yellow. And I'm starting to like the way that this design came out. So let's just take a close up look at that layering of paint. This is looking good, I think it's going to look good on a larger scale. So this is the plan for now. Now the other thing I did think about was whether, because we're working on a square tile and the sun is round, whether I want to have like a deep building corners, um, or whether I want to leave that space blank and just have more emanating rays of yellow and tan and gold coming out. Just perfecting that design and going back in. I'm trying not to blend the colours at this point, I've caught it a little bit in the sketchbook. But I'm just seeing how much I want to saturate the background, whether I want to leave some yellow, uh, some white areas. So, here is my tile. The first step is to give it a good clean. We cannot work on a dirty surface. So I'm just going to grab some bleach spray, or water down bleach spray, and wipe it off. And actually I was really impressed with how clean this tile wiped up. It started off with a great base and let's just get rid of the dirt on the outside. Perfect. So now we have our plain clean tile. I'm just going in with some white acrylic for a base just so I have something that the paint will hold on to. I was really worried because I'm not using ceramic paint whether the acrylic would roll up and peel off this ceramic tile because it is sealed and glossed. So I'm just going across the edges. And there we go. So I just left that to dry after I was finished doing those layers. Right, so we have a dry base. I have some white emulsion for the paint to catch onto and I'm just gonna start going in. Now, 
as I started going in with the first layer of paint, I realized that my center for my sun-inspired design was way off and actually I hadn't quite got the technique of the swirl that I wanted down at all. But at this moment I thought, nope, I'm going to perspire, pers persevere and carry on. I even started going in with the other colours to see if I could fix the problem. So I'm just going in with that primary yellow there. And then I even went in with the tan, but it didn't look good. So I tried going over with the white emulsion, that didn't look good. I thought, right, I'm just gonna start again. I've cleaned off my tile. I'm gonna go in with a different design. So I decided to alternate which way the waves were curving, but actually I wasn't happy with this either. And uh, I couldn't fix it no matter what I did. And it just started looking not great. So we restarted again. And finally on this last design, I got it. I went in with the dark color first to give it more depth and I went in with smaller brush strokes so it looked more detailed. So you can see I'm just going around with the tan color. Now I'm going in with the primary yellow I believe or it might be the lighter yellow. And I've decided at this point that this was the design I wanted and it was starting to look quite good. Okay, so now I'm going in with that primary yellow. And finally, I'm going in with the gold. So that's the finished tile. This is all the leftover paint swatches from my sketchbook, because it's nice to swatch. And because this is acrylic and not ceramic paint, we do have to seal the tile. So I've just got some varnish seal here. This ended up working really well for me. I think it's a metal varnish seal, so be careful, don't get this on your skin. Um, again, if you had ceramic paint, you wouldn't have to worry about this. And I really, I'm lightly dabbing this varnish on, but I realized that actually if you pull too hard, it lifts the acrylic paint atop. So I ended up having to just dab, 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 that on so I wouldn't lift the paint. You see, I can lift, I've lifted it there in the corner. I had to go in and correct that. Uh, you'll see in the next clips that I actually had some splotches which evened out once I let it dry. There are the splotches. Um, but don't worry, those will disappear once you leave them to dry. So I'm just going in and correcting that mistake. And there we go. So, you've got to leave this to dry for a good period of time. But I like the effect that it already has. This is the tile in the sunlight. And I like the way it looks by my bedside table. So this is working out perfectly so far. Now, I just left that there in semi-direct sunlight for an hour. You can leave it for longer. And here we go, it's the final glossy tile. Now, if you make this at home, please share it with me on Instagram. I'd really like to see what you've done. I really enjoyed this. It's a really easy craft. I think it came out very effectively. Thank you for watching. We've got lots more exciting stuff coming up. So if you would like to subscribe, 